Well, I'm experimenting. I have a bad habit and I love to kind of have ambient noise or the TV on in the background. And so the TV is on in the background. Hopefully you hear my voice much louder than what's on the television. I may try to turn it down a little bit to make sure that only I am hearing it. So let's see if I can find my remote controls and I'll turn it down a little more. Okay, I've turned that down a little more. And my desk is, as usual, a wreck. I don't know how to work any other way other than in a wreck. So, um, I said maybe I will try to straighten it up while I was doing this experiment. And I need to um, double check to see what is my range of... Um, of viewing so let's see I had these okay let's see these were some earring pieces that I was trying to put together let's see it looks like I misplaced one of the rectangles but that's okay I'm gonna put those in my container where my punches are and that's right over here not sure what this stick is I put that there so in order for me to craft I don't know I I tend to have a lot of stuff and so then a lot of stuff gets pulled out and then I don't always put it all back in I, I do need to get organized better with my crafting endeavors and one of the bad things that I do is I watch other people and I go, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. But I'm so busy watching that I'm not taking the time for myself to videotape. So I've decided that maybe I can videotape while I'm listening. Because lately I started saying that I needed to listen more than to necessarily watch. And that when things popped up and I could maybe hear something in, in particular that I was interested in, I would turn and look. Like right now I'm looking. Okay, very interesting. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do now. Um, I was jelly printing over here on top of my silicone mat. I had my jelly plate sitting there and it kind of warped the map the mat so I'm like mm, interesting and this particular silicone mat here has a slight texture and I discovered after a while when I was working on this side that the um, texture was being transferred to my jelly plate and I'm like well I don't want a permanent I don't want a permanent texture on my jelly plate so I have um, that's why I went to the other the other sheet so I'm not sure how that's gonna work um, let's see I'm gonna put that there I had a see I don't even know what I did with it I had a Toilet paper roll. Oh, I found it. That I thought I would cover. There are some people on YouTube. Um, Rebecca from Dances with Pitbull. I also think Wendy Mason is also doing this. It's a, a hundred thing challenge. And I'm like, I don't know that I see myself doing a hundred things, but I possibly could find myself doing a number of things and maybe reducing the bulk of craft items that I have. 
in my small bedroom slash craft area. So I need to, um, I said, well, maybe it might be nice for me to try to do this challenge and create some things. So that's what I'm going to try to do is create some things. So the first thing I thought I would do is try this particular project of um, covering up the um, toilet paper roll and turning it into a, um, a book. I think I'm going to probably speed this up. And at this point, I'm going to look for some um, painted papers to cover this with. So, bear with me. One thing's for sure, working this way will challenge me to figure out how to edit stuff. Okay, got some painted papers here. I'm already torn. 